we need this print here and you find it in the info box below right here for a download print. This is a high chair and you need this piece and this piece in some thin wood, I think mine is two millimeters thick. Then you need two pieces of this. This is just icicles that I cut into length and shape. You need two of the smaller one here, um, like that. And then you need one of this one and then two pieces of toothpicks. So hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, we are going to take these pieces of uh, the icicles that I cut into shape and I'm going to sand them all a tiny bit so they are nice and smooth before I start to glue everything together. I am using a normal regular wood glue, actually my favorite brand, I've used that so many times. And now I am going to glue these pieces together into this L shape. And I just turned these around until the shape was right, um, so they are lying like this. Then I'm just going to glue them together like that, and I'm going to leave them flat on the table like this while drying. And I'm gonna give them more than enough time to be all dry before I continue with these pieces. Then I cut the pointy part of my toothpicks and I'm going to measure them against this um, smaller piece that we made, the one that we only had one of and making sure that my toothpicks have the exact same length as this little piece of wood and of course I'm going to cut them into length. After I cut the toothpicks into length I did sand them a tiny bit so they didn't have any scratchy endings. Now I am working here on these L shapes. I am counting three down and making a line. So I have the foot of the L lying straight as you see here counting three centimeters and then making a line. Do this on both pieces. Now I turn it around and I'm placing the line here and then counting one and a half centimeter from the line and up and I'm going to make another line there doing the same on the other one one and a half centimeter and make the line. This is for the seat and for the footrest and actually I need to do that on the right side of this one so you have to do it mirrored on one piece so that when you glue the parts together you know exactly where to put the foot footrest and the seat for this little high chair. Now here at the bottom I am counting two centimeters from the tip and into uh, the L, the foot of the L shape here and I'm doing that on both of these pieces. So let me show you here how the pieces go. First the little one the, sitting right here, the footrest right here and then the seat right here. The seat is the smallest one of the two plates and then we have the uh, toothpicks where I just showed. I am again using my wood glue. This is Patex. I really love this wood glue. So I'm just putting a dot of that on my paper here so that I can use it from there. And then I am going to glue the things together. Now I am putting some glue where the footrest is going to sit and where this little uh, extra piece we have is going to sit uh, between the legs to keep them apart. Um, that one here just placing a tiny bit of glue on each of these parts. Now I am taking the small piece here and placing that right here on the glue, trying to make sure that it is standing in um, a 90 degree angle. And the footrest is the bigger part of these two parts here. And I am placing that so the nice end is turning inward. Um, yeah, you can see how I do it. It is going maybe a centimeter out from um, uh, from the L side at the end. Well, it's easier if you just see what I am doing. And I'm trying to keep that straight and hold that straight uh, while drying 
can be really difficult um i'm placing this because i want that to sit right there and that's uh, a nice way to make sure everything is even and straight while uh, putting it together you can put something to hold it together i'm gonna do that later but leave that to dry for um as long as possible before you continue while the glue is drying i have had these sticks here lying in water for at least 24 hours so they are soaked and my dremel has the exact um shape that i want for the seat and i am just really 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 slowly bending these wood sticks around this curved shape of my dremel um and when i have the shape i am just putting it here in between this um grabby thing i don't know what these are called because that can hold the bend as it is drying and leave this for drying again at least 24 hours so that they will dry in the shape and they will keep the shape when they are all dried so take your time with this because if you don't they will rip and break the glue in my chair is fully hardened so now i am going to glue in these uh, pieces of the toothpicks that we cut so i'm just placing a tiny bit of uh, glue in each end of the toothpick i'm using a tiny bit of wood here to make sure that it is in the same height from one side to the other and then i'm just correcting it so that it is sitting straight and i also glued the little one underneath the chair now to the seat you can see i have this little cut out here so i'm just placing my tiny piece of wood and drawing on the cut out cut out I'm going to use my Dremel with a big drill, a drill that have the size that I need for this little hole. And then I'm just going to drill out this little hole here first, the end pieces, and then I'm just concentrating about removing the middle afterwards. Uh, sand this really good before you continue. And now it's time for the seat to be glued into place. So I'm just making sure that it is fitting right and then I am going to glue it in there. Uh, this time I'm using my tacky glue for some reason. I think actually I did run out of my wood glue. So that's why I'm using my tacky glue here. But I rather use my wood glue for this project than the tacky glue. Just place it and hold it in place while drying. And you can see the foot rest is going out further than the seat itself and that's the way it should be and again i am going to let it rest until the glue is all dry here we have the two curves that we made one is for the back rest and one is to keep the uh, child in place and not fall down so first of all i'm just making where to cut the back rest here so that it fits on the chair and i'm just going to cut it into length and I'm gonna do the same with the other piece here. And I am back to my normal wood glue again. We are placing the first of these two curves here on the chair and you want that to point forward. And it is going to sit so that it is sitting straight over the little hole we made in the seat. And this piece is keeping your kit in place so that they don't fold out later. Um, so you have to place it a little over the um, seat so they can get their feet through this one. Uh, but also low enough that there is space for the backrest on top of it. Let the glue dry completely before you continue. Now I'm taking the other curve. And I am placing that for the backrest of this chair. And again, I am just clamping it down and letting that dry so that it is all hardened before I continue. 
When the glue is all dry, you are ready to paint this little uh, kids chair or high chair. And I'm painting mine all black, but these chairs come in lots of different colors. And you can even keep it in the normal uh, wood color if you like that better. But I wanted mine black. Now I take a piece of a ribbon and I place it through the little hole that we made over the holder and down through the hole again. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of tacky glue to glue it in the hole here. Um, and when that has all dried, I am going to cut off the excess of the ribbon so that you only have the ribbon that is going from the hole over the um, thing to keep the kits in place and then down into the hole again. Well, I hope you understand that. The high chair is actually all done now, but I wanted to make a little pillow to make it um, less hard to sit on. So I cut out a piece of cardstock after the um, print sheet and I cut it a tiny bit uh, smaller in the length. Now I just put in some um, one-time wash rags, I think they're called. And I had a t tiny, teeny tiny piece of fabric that I really like. And I'm just folding that up over the cardstock here with the um, wash cloth in between. In the top, I am going to cut it a little more shaped to the top here. Let me show you. Keep that all in place while doing it. So I'm cutting it a little down and into uh, the shape here. And I'm going to cut um, a few small, uh, tiny whatever into the fabric here so it's easier to bend it over. I'm not cutting all the way into the paper. It is only a tiny, tiny cut in the end or the side here of the fabric so that I have the possibility to bend it a little better uh, than I would have if I didn't cut it a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to cut the end pieces a little shorter here and uh, fold it in and glue it down. And when the little pillow or cushion is all done, I am using some more of my tacky glue to make sure that I can glue this little pillow or cushion in onto the uh, high chair. Let me take a tiny bit more here. I just want to make sure that it is going to stay in place when I place it. Turn it around and place it so that it fits between uh, the ribbon and the back here of the seat. It has, it's um, actually following the back of the seat. So you can see I cut it a tiny bit shorter than the seat itself before I made the pillow. And then I'm just cutting the rest of these strings off or the ribbon off. There we go. And that's all there is for this little high chair. I think it came out really, really cute. And yeah, I made a few of these because I had a lot of fun with it. And I used different kind of fabric for the pillow and they turned out really nice. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.